Hello, in this video we are going to further explore the new elevation profile tool that's available from QGIS 3.26. This time we are going to compare raster DTMs, contours and we'll finally also add a point cloud. We're going to look at uh, one of the highest areas in the Netherlands and we will download from this website the DTM and later we'll download the point cloud. After downloading the TIFF file of the 5 meter DTM, we see that there is a lot of uh, void, no data values that we uh, can interpolate before continuing our comparison. In the processing toolbox, search here for no data, and I need that uh, GDAL tool fill no data, which will interpolate the voids based on the surrounding pixels. I keep the default settings here, and I save the result. And here we see that our voids are gone. Now we want to compare this 5 meter DTM with some other uh, DTM products that are available through the Open Topography DM Downloader plugin. So I install the plugin and uh, I choose here SRTM 30 meters as one of the products that I want to compare. And I use the layer extent. I need an uh, API key. So if you have an account, on open topography you can there find your API key copy the API key and paste it in the dialog save the result after processing repeat this also for the NASA them that we're going to compare after downloading, I go to the layer properties of the DEMs and there's a new tab elevation where I can indicate that the layer represents an elevation surface. And there I can also define the style for the uh, profile. I can use line or fill below and I can change the color. Here you can also check the projection. And you see that this is in the geographic coordinate system. Uh, which cannot be used in analysis, but if we want to use the profile tool, this will be okay. Also for SRTM, we can check the uh, coordinate system. And we can go to the elevation tab to indicate that it represents an elevation surface. And we can uh, change the style if needed. And we do the same for the detailed DEM. Now for our reference, we're going to use the detailed DEM. So I'll apply some styling. I'm going to use one from CPT City. Choose topography. And I will use this one this time. And I can duplicate the layer. And I apply a hillshade renderer. And then I blend it with the color ramp. To demonstrate that the new elevation profile tool can also deal with contour lines, I'm going to extract contour lines from the detailed DEM. From the raster menu, I choose the contour tool and uh, I'm going to change the interval to five meters. That's the equidistance. And there I also check the box to produce a 3D vector because the 3D values can be used by the profile tool. I made a typo but I'll keep it. And also here in the layer properties I find the elevation tab and I can change here some settings. And uh, what's important is to change it to uh, absolute elevation clamping which will use the Z values from the features. And uh, I can choose for interpretation to just visualize the, the points on the contours in the transect or to connect those dots. Here I choose to connect these dots and to also visualize the dots. So let's open the elevation profile panel by choosing it from the view menu. And there you see our elevation layers. And uh, here if you double click on the line, you can still go to the layer properties and change the settings that I've uh, shown before like changing the colors of the lines or the marker style. 
Here for the contours, I use a black line and black dots. Now let's add a uh, transect. Click right to complete the line and here it plots now uh, the result, the different elevation profiles and uh, the dots also for where it uh, hits the contour lines. And we see that uh, the trend in the data is the same but that there is an offset uh, between the uh, SRTM derived products and uh, the DEM derived from LiDAR, the 5 meter. Resolution DEM. You can also choose fill below. That will give a fill color. That I'm changing it back to the line. You can also show the individual points only. Then it will use by default the styling of uh, the lines, so the same color. Change to a blue dot and, and I uncheck respect layer symbology. So now we have the blue dots on the line. We zoom in to the area, you can also see where on the transect we are. If we move our mouse in the graph, let's draw another one. Click right to complete. You can also draw the profile for uh, vector lines that you already have. Uh, here I'm going to create a new vector line as a temporary scratch layer. Let's call it transect. I use a line string. I change the projection to the one of the project. And I'm going to digitize a line. Click right to complete. Toggle off editing. And now I can select the line and it will plot the uh, profile for the line. Now we're going to add a point cloud. We've seen in a previous video that we can visualize point clouds also in the new elevation profile tool. So after adding, it will uh, convert to the COPC format and then it will uh, load. Let's draw a new transect. And there we see uh, ground and unclassified. So in this data, the uh, trees are unclassified. We see some houses, some buildings. So in the elevation properties, we can apply uh, opacity to points that are at a further distance. And this gives a nicer effect, which we see here. And then it's also nice to change uh, the symbology of unclassified to green to represent better the trees. You can play with the tolerance. It remembers the last setting that you've used. It determines the buffer distance around the line for the point of the point cloud to take into account. And you can change the order of the layers. So you can compare uh, the different elevation sources with each other. And when you pan and zoom, you can see the details. So in this video, you've seen how you can compare raster DEMs, contour lines and point clouds with each other in the new elevation profile tool that's available from QGIS 3.26.